Hi everyone, this is John Park. It's great to be here. Thank you. Congratulations on wrapping up your promotions for your first mini album. Thank you. How does it feel to, you know, complete your first round of activities and promotions? It feels really good. And um, it was my first album, so at first I was a little nervous about how things were going to go, but um, I had about two or three months of being on the screen and just having a lot of stages to perform on. And I think it was overall a great learning experience. And so I think um, from now on I know a little more um, about how I want to prepare my next album too. What kind of music can John Park fans expect in the future? Um, the next album will have a lot more songs that I write myself. Um, so I'd say the majority of the songs will be written by me. Wow. Um, yeah, and so I don't want to kind of categorize a genre to the next album, but it'll be a lot more uh, Western music, a lot, a lot more like pop music. I know you tend to stray away from mainstream pop music, but I was wondering, can we, will we be able to see John Park, you know, singing and dancing to the normal, <laughs> or not normal, but typical K-pop-esque music? Right. Um, no, I will not be dancing. <laughs> <laughs> the music, I think, there will be some upbeat music and um, kind of groovy songs, but I don't think dancing is my uh, strong point. Really? Or I don't think it really fits with my <laughs> kind of the, the big picture. Mm, I did um, see your ballet performance. Do you, <laughs> <laughs> do you have any plans to, you know, have another ballet performance? Uh, in the future? No, I don't. <laughs> I hope to do um, the least amount of dancing possible. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> no, it's not a shame. It's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. Mm. I saw your music video, and your music video and your musical style for Falling is really different um, from normal K-pop music. It was a lot more simple and a lot more um, laid back, and I noticed a lot of symbolisms as well. Can yeah. you explain your music video for us in more depth? Sure. Um, the music video is just simply me um, in a cargo container, um, and it's, it just falls from the sky and uh, hits the sea. Um, but the story of the song kind of goes, um, I'm going to fall for you even if it hurts me, even if you can't catch me. Um, it's a love story, but for me it kind of symbolized uh, my time with music and how, you know, in the making of music there are you know, good times and there are times when it's really tough, but in the end you just kind of keep falling for what you are passionate for and you, know, you just have to embrace those hard times too. No, it's not, it's not that. <laughs> Thank you. But no. um, I actually wrote the lyrics myself wow. um, to the title song "Falling," so it kind of uh, meant a little more when I, you know, when I was on TV singing the song. Who came up with the concept and idea of a falling container falling into the ocean? Um, it was a collaborative work between me and the directors of the music video. And we didn't want to shoot something that was, you know, very kind of typical, mm -hmm. predictable, and it's kind of an abstract um, interpretation of the song. But I kind of liked it. I kind of liked that it wasn't too obvious. It was something kind of out of the ordinary. What was your favorite part of the music video? Uh, my favorite part. My favorite part was just like the CG, because <laughs> you know when I was shooting the stuff, I was like, oh man, how is this gonna, you know, what what's this gonna look like in the end? I was wondering, but um, they they really they really made the stuff look amazing. But you know, like this, this, there's a scene where I'm kind of floating and doing this matrix oh, yeah, type that was of pretty cool, you know? yeah type of motion. Mm -hmm. um, that's actually real, and I was on the wire, um, kind of flipping back for like an hour after eating dinner <laughs> oh. so it was it was kind of hard to keep it all in but you know I think the part where I had the most um, troubleshooting kind of looked the greatest in the end so kind of paid off. Yeah. Do you have plans for an English uh, 
version of the song? Or any of your um, other songs? Right now, not yet. Um, I'm writing a lot, um, preparing for the next album right now, but uh, all the songs are in Korean so far. But I hope to write some songs in English too. So that, because you know, that's my, it is my first language, and I want to kind of communicate with you know, people who speak English as well. As you probably know, Kim Eun-bi, your uh, former oh, yeah, yeah. contestant, she's debuting under a YG girl group. Right? Yeah. What, what was your impression on Kim Eun-bi and her musical talents? Um, at the time when we were competing together, uh, I think she had the most soulful voice out of the female contestants. Um, and she's she's very young. She's um, tw she's 20 in Korean age now. Um, so I always thought that she had great potential and I'm so um, glad for her that she can debut from a really great um, agency. Are there times where you wish you debuted under an idol group? No, not at all, actually. Um, I'm very thankful and I'm, and I'm really glad that I'm, you know, I'm a solo artist. And I know you worked with Song Yeo on our cosmetics yet, and yeah. you're working with Park Jin Hee right now for Music and Lyrics. What's it like to work with such amazing actors? It's fun, you know. It's something out of out of the ordinary, uh, something different. So, and it's something that I do, but they're very unfamiliar with because their, you know, their job is an actress. Uh, it's <laughs> fun leading them, you know. <laughs> making music or recording, um, I think it was a great experience. Do you have any funny stories about Song Yeo Gyo or Park Jin that you can share with us? Not, not really. <laughs> uh, I think you're yeah. lying, come on. Not really. Uh, well, especially like um, Park Jin -hee. I didn't expect to get along with her that well, um, but we ended up getting pretty close and uh, we had a lot of similar tastes in music and um, hobbies and so it was very stressful shooting the whole thing and making the song. In the end, it was, it was very, I think it was worthwhile to have kind of experienced that with her. Um, I learned a lot. Working with all these actresses, does that make you want to, you know, venture into acting possibly? No, not at all. Really? Yeah, um, that's one thing. Acting and dancing is probably <laughs> not, yeah, not my thing. Um, so I'm just going to focus on music for now. Uh, maybe later if I get more comfortable with my music, then I might think about it. Uh, what advice can you offer to aspiring singers who live abroad but want to debut in Korea? <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I don't, I mean, I don't think I'm in any position to give advices, but the hardest part for me um, adjusting to the Korean music industry was the language, um, especially when I'm on stage and I'm singing. I'd say just practice Korean as much as possible and you know there's a point where you know you sing Korean but you're thinking in English and then when that switches over to you're singing Korean and you feel the Korean and you know it's very one dimension very direct um, I think that's very important to do so study your Korean is my Advice Hello, some peers. Um, it was great to meet all of you. Um, my name is John Park, and I hope to say hey uh, sometime soon again. Sunfi, chego.